So with all the trouble that Joe Biden's had the last three weeks with Afghanistan, Donald Trump has been lurking. Now, I use the word lurking um, in, in not a precise way. Hovering, lurking, trying to figure out how to exploit the problems Mr. Biden is having. So we got a hold of the first video component to this. Go. Afghanistan cannot be used as a terrorist base. That Afghanistan has become the Disneyland for terrorists. We plan for every contingency. Total chaos. It is heartbreaking. It is depressing. It's a failure. And he needs to own that failure. Very responsibility for all that's happened. He did not admit any mistakes. He did not uh, offer any change, of course. He says we're going to continue forward. He really isn't taking responsibility. Mr. Biden, you did this. You made the deal with the Taliban. This is the consequences of it. Go to hell, Biden. Tens of thousands of people being left behind. There's American citizens left. We're going to stay to get them all out. We did not get everybody out. Dozens and dozens of U.S. citizens went to the airport, and the gates never opened. The mission hasn't failed yet. If this isn't failure, what does failure look like exactly? But uh, there's, you know, there to be... All right, so that's a devastating one minute, four seconds. The ad was paid for by the Save America PAC organization. So President uh, Trump wants to run again. I told you that. He told me. Um, And so he set up a bunch of political action committees. They raise money. That money doesn't go directly to Donald Trump, but he controls the money. So that ad that you saw there is not going to run on the network news. You're not going to see it there. You'll see it all over the Internet and um, perhaps um, Fox News Channel and uh, the other um, conservative organizations, ONN and Newsmax, perhaps. But it's pretty devastating. And um, this situation is hurting not only Joe Biden, but the Democratic Party and all the people who run the Democratic Party and who are working with Mr. Biden know it. They know that this is a catastrophe for them, not just for the people left behind in Afghanistan. Now, there is a poll out off uh, the Afghan debacle. It is from Politico and Morning Consult, Democrats 39, Republicans 36. So this is a fair poll, about 2,000 registered voters. Question was, are things going in the right direction in America? Right direction 39, wrong track 61. Second question, do you approve or disapprove of how President Biden handled Afghanistan? Approve 30, net disapprove 61. No opinion, 8. So this is a terrible poll for Biden. Now, It is true that people have a short memory and that Afghanistan is far away. And if there's not a terror attack uh, in the next month or so, this will fade somewhat. The details will fade. But there will be uh, atrocities du jour in Afghanistan, and that video will be smuggled out. So the conservative outlets, the anti-Biden outlets will run that, but not the corporate media. So Joe Biden himself is not going to go silent. And when you, I don't think he's going to hold a press conference in Louisiana. I'd be shocked. He'll go down for a photo op. There'll be a pool of reporters around him. Some might shout questions, but he's not going to get into Afghanistan. So, and they're going to say, look, we said what we said. It's a tremendous victory for us and the country Period, goodbye, that's it, Good night. Elvis has left the building. Um, so the silent treatment will be given to Afghanistan by the president. So the question then becomes, because we always like to advance the stories here, will the media try to save Biden's image, his overall image? Will that happen? Because, as everybody knows, some of the liberal media I mean, the Washington Post literally begged people to vote for Joe Biden. Yet, they scorched him 
over Afghanistan. So there was a departure in the usual ideological news coverage in this country. Whereas the Wall Street Journal, uh, I'm sorry, the, the Washington Post went after him. So did elements on CNN. MSNBC remained pretty loyal. I mean, they are the most far left network in the history of this country. No, not even close. And um, the New York Times, interestingly enough, they're not really engaged here. Not one editorial in the last two and a half weeks on this. Nothing. Why? Because the New York Times makes its money, all of it, from liberal viewership. Didn't used to be that way. You know, they used to have kind of a, they always were liberal, but there were other people in. Now they're not. It's all liberal. You can make the case that the Fox News Channel is all conservative. You can make that case. It wasn't when I was there because we did polling and surveys. We knew who was watching. But today you can make the case that Fox News' total audience is conservative. But the New York Times, no question about it. In order to continue the revenue, they can't go up against Biden. Washington Post, they almost had to do it um, because, of, as I said, they were so fervently in favor of Biden. And it all had to do with Trump. We all know that. So the Wall Street Journal yesterday just hammered. And I'm going to do two parts of their editorial. I'm going to read you two parts. Put the first one on the full screen, please. Quote from the Wall Street Journal, Biden's defiant accusatory defense on Tuesday of his Afghanistan withdrawal and its execution was so dishonest and so lacking in self-reflection or accountability that it was unworthy of the sacrifices Americans have made in that conflict, unquote. That's just a devastating statement. They're basically saying that the American service people were killed and wounded. Biden insulted them by lying. That's heavy. Second part of the editorial, quote, Mr. Biden described the evacuation as if it were a triumph and that his administration had planned for such a contingency in case the Afghan military collapsed. This is literally unbelievable. Multiple media reports have revealed that the White House was caught by surprise and preparing for vacation and mass when Kabul fell, unquote. And that's true. Uh, Blinken, the very weak Secretary of State, was out where I am right now on the east end of Long Island. He was already there. So if Blinken knew Afghanistan was going to fall, he couldn't possibly have begun a end of summer vacation. And of course, he had to run back to Washington. And Biden himself was in Camp David doing some R&R. &R. He had nothing on his schedule. Hey, I'm sure you've noticed that everything is getting more expensive. And with all this printing money and spending by the progressives, I'm concerned the dollar's end could be near. If the government continues this way, the dollar could freefall and lose its coveted role as the world's reserve currency. That's why there's never been a more important time to consider gold and silver to protect you and your family. And American Hartford Gold is the only company I'm happy to put my name behind. I have done business with them myself. It just takes a quick phone call and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA. Plus, tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. So please don't wait. Call 866-501-5201, 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video, and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.